Hey guys, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and this is of course Camry. Hi guys. And today we're going to show you how to do a knotted ponytail. Now the best part about this hairstyle is it's most effective when your hair is wet. So if you're running late to school and you're just out of the shower or you have an after school practice where you have to shower when you're done or you just got done swimming, this is a great hairstyle for you. Okay, now to begin this hairstyle, I've gone ahead and just done three little flips in the front of our hair only because I just love to add a little dimension in the front of the ponytail. But basically what you're going to need to do is have your hair pulled into a high ponytail. And you can see her hair is wet and I have my trusty water bottle here. This is just water. In case it you know dries out a little bit, I can spray it down. So you can either spray it or just jump out of the shower, either one. And then you're going to take a comb and you're gonna to wanna to just smooth the hair as much as possible. So make sure you kind of are combing through combing any knots or little rough spots out till it's pretty smooth. When you're done doing that, you're gonna, I, can, I have two clips. You're gonna need two of these little tiny clips. I just have clipped them on her shirt so that I know where they're at. I'm gonna reach back behind the ponytail and pull just a little tiny piece of hair. So it's not too big. You can do big if you want. I just like the way they look when they're a little smaller. I want a little bit more than that. And you kind of want them coming from the middle of the ponytail. So when you get your little sections, you're going to take them and I comb them out again because now, see they have like a few rough edges. So it's best if you just kind of give them a nice little comb so they're nice and smooth. And at this point, this is optional, you can even take a little bit of dry wax and just gently spritz on there. Or even use some pomade if you want to make them really look smooth. And you're gonna tie a knot, I'll do it again. I'm just taking the pieces, just like a shoelace, just once, and then pull it down tight against the ponytail like this. Now this is where the clips come in. We're gonna take this and we're gonna clip it to this side. Take this end and just clip it to this side. That way we don't have to use extra hands. You can do it on yourself if you want to, but we're still holding that knot in place. Now we're gonna reach back again, pull a little section of hair right here, reach back towards the middle, pull another little section of hair, and again, you can see that they're kind of scattywampus, so I'm gonna just go ahead and comb through, make them nice and smooth. Again, dry wax optional, and then I'm going to tie another knot right on top of the first one. We're gonna pull it pretty tight. It'll loosen naturally as we go. Now I'm just gonna move these down a little bit more and hang on to that newest add-in. I'm going to reach behind. You can see this is kind of a repeating pattern at this point. Get my section of hair I want. Bring it around front, comb them out, and tie a knot. And the farther down we go, the more you're going to see the hair hanging like this draping effect on the sides, and that's fine. I'm just gonna keep moving those down. Now, about halfway down, I'm gonna go back just with my comb and make sure everything is nice and smooth, very gently here, specifically underneath. You just wanna kinda comb out any more knots and we're gonna to continue to go. Make sure when you're clipping, another trick is that you're clipping these just to the very outside edges so that it holds that knot in place. If you clip it in the center, the knot kind of pulls funny. So we're gonna keep going. Kissing in the rain, walking on the beach. I can see it now almost happening. Sneaking out at night, living like we're free. Okay, so when you get to the end, and you'll know when you're done because you start running out of hair and the little pieces start falling out as you're tying those knots, as it shortens the hair. Just take an elastic and go ahead and secure the entire thing off. Nice ponytail. And then if you want, you can go back and these move a little tiny bit. So if you don't like the spacing exactly the way they are, you can adjust just a little bit accordingly. And you are all finished. And not only does it leave this really pretty knotted effect on the front, but it gives you this really pretty draped effect on the sides, which is really fun and kind of unique as well. Okay guys, let's do the final spin on this hairstyle. 
voila it's like a sneaky ponytail like you're you're thinking it's just a normal ponytail and then bam it's not normal bam normal <laughs> bam that's pretty cool anyway don't forget guys that we just had our app release a couple weeks ago we're really excited about it it required a ton of work if you want to find it I'll put a link in the description box below as well as a link at the end of the video so go check it out as a mom I personally love it kind of because it kind of keeps the kids on my channel only instead of you know out into the YouTube space where they might stumble upon other things which is really nice but it's also very searchable and very user-friendly which I appreciate and gives you access to all of our hairstyles which is fantastic do you have anything to add um just love you guys and have a great time with this hairstyle perfect we'll wrap it up see you guys next Sunday bye guys bye you stole my heart just like in a movie got the key